Toca! I change even more in the game of the uh, uh, full stick web development. And in today's full stick web development, this video, your whole concept will be clear about it. So, see the video start to it. And please like this video, share it across, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to all the notification bell also in Amazon for any future little videos about the full stick web development. So, without thinking of anything, let's move from your screen and let's do a coding with loving it. Guys, here you can see my more time game of the full stick web development. And in today's full stick web development, I'm telling you the as in the SQL got a picture element. So, yeah, I'm telling you about it. So, let's start. The HTML picture element allows you to display the different pictures for different devices or screen sizes like this. The HTML picture element. The HTML picture element gives the developer more flexibility in, in specifying image sources, okay, resources. The picture element contains one or more source elements, each referring to the different images through the R SRC set attribute. This way, the browser can choose the image that bad fits the current view and or device. Each source element has a media attribute that defines when the image is the most suitable. Here is one example. Here we show the different images for different screen sizes. Okay. Let me copy this image. Let me come on my Visual Studio code like that. Uh, I am creating a new window. So, this type of interface has been opened. Click on the file and new file and create a file by the name of index. And then I'm making this file my, in my documents. And then when I make it in my file, I'm writing the starting code like HTML, then body. Then I'm pasting this code here. You must know that where you make your file must your picture will be also be there. Like, you know, uh, you must know that like I make my file in my documents. So my picture is also in my documents, not any anywhere. Okay. So do, do not do this like your file is in your documents and you are making uh, you are making uh, your images in the desktop not like this okay yeah, your file is in your desk uh, in your documents so your image should be also be in your documents okay you must know that but here i'm writing like 25 dot web page 25 web page and then I am writing here css.gpg. Now save it and then I am opening my browser. Where is my browser? Here is my file. Now here you can see my images is coming like this. Here you can see my images is coming and it is not giving me CSS image. Okay. Why is not giving me the CSS image? Let me tell you. Because I have told you here like it shows the different images for different screen sizes. And like I have told you here. Each source element has a media attribute that defines the when the image is most suitable. Okay, this image is most suitable. That's why it is going to be that. If I write here css.jpg, so you can see it is not giving me css.jpg image because, like I have told you here, like here I have told you, it gave you that image which is perfect for the screen sizes. Note that always specify an image element as the last child of element of the picture element. The image element is used by browser that do not support the picture element or if none of the source tags match, okay, when to use the picture element, when we use the picture element. There are two main purposes of the, for the picture element, two main purpose. First uh, purpose is bandwidth, width. number two is format support, bandwidth. If you have a small screen size, uh, screen, a small screen or device, it is not necessary to load a large image file. The browser will use the first source element with the matching attribute values and ignore any of the following elements. Number two, format support. I have told you about the bandwidth. Now let me tell you about the format support. Some browsers or devices can may not support all image formats by using the picture element. You can add images of all formats and the browser will use the first format it recognizes and ignore any of the following elements. For example, the browser will use the first image format in it to recognize, okay, like this. Okay, let me copy it and let me come here. And let me paste it. And here I am writing my picture name, like first my picture name is 25.webpage and then second my picture name is css.jpg. And here I am also writing CSS.jpg. 
save it and run it. So you can see my only HTML file has been coming. Hang, okay. The browser will use the first source element with matching attribute values and ignore any following uh, source elements. Like here, it is uh, only giving me my first source element, and uh, two uh, this two element is ignoring. Okay, browser is ignoring like that. So here you can see it. Like this is the topic of our video. In today's video, I told you about the water picture element in the HTML, and this is our last video of the image series. I know this video is smaller because in today's video there is not any such type of code and that type of any example so that's why the video is smaller but let me let me tell you some more things about the picture element like if you define here if you write here css.jpg here if you define here now save it and run it so now your css.jpg will become and in the first i write like css.jpg and in the second i am writing 25 dot web page so you can see now only the CSS picture is coming because it is in the first and in the second the 25 dot web page file that's why it is only showing me like this okay like that you can do it or if you give like this okay like this you will also give like like this you will also give it and then your file has been coming like that here you can see it now your two files coming of the image here you can see it or uh, in the picture element like if you define your picture Serix set equals to like CSS JPT like that or you write here anything like Ryan I'm writing now save it and then run it so here you can see it the Ryan has been come here here you can see it now let me show you where the Ryan has been come here here you can see the Ryan has been came okay or uh, then I'm removing this this I'm removing it and I'm also removing this now when I save it and when I run it so here you can see the rayon is coming like here or you can change the picture also here like I'm writing CSS so now it give me CSS here you can see like that like that you can do it right easily yes so now here you can see it in today's video of the full stack web development I told you about in the full stack web development water and the HTML or a picture element so I hope your concept will be clear about it and I hope you uh, your whole concept will be clear about it what a picture element in the html so i hope so if you enjoy this video so please like this video share fun, and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to all the notification bell also so you never miss any future related videos about the full stack web development and please do not forget to access my full stack web development playlist okay and uh, my html playlist also and bookmark it also so if you don't know how to do it so let me know you only go to the google and search in my channel by the name of code with pk and then and click on my channel and then my first channel has been came click on the playlist and then click on to the here where you can click it click on to the html tutorial first of all you will be access this playlist and bookmark it like here okay first of all you access and bookmark it and then come on it here and then access this playlist then and bookmark it also okay then see the videos from start to end okay because it is a fully completely the course of the uh, full stick web development for and we start like you know we started from our front end web development and in front end we define uh, we def uh, started from our html and our html ce has been started and we successfully completed our uh, 28 videos 28 videos of html let me see which is our latest videos okay let me see it here we successfully completed um 29 videos of html very successfully yes we very successfully yes we completed our 29 video of html uh, okay so but in today's video i told you about it what are picture element and this is our last video of the uh images series or uh, in the html so i hope your concept will be clear about it so now i'm using necklace and next very amazing girl like that our videos so now for today good Bye.